Ahoy Pirates! So, today on our day two of the favorite tea and face tea sew along, we'll be cutting our fabrics and tomorrow we'll start sewing. So, yesterday we printed the pattern pieces, we've cut the patterns. Uh, I got my uh, patterns ready for the style that I want to make, which is um, the v neck in this case. I've done both of them many, many, many times. I think I'm gonna do the V-neck for this sew along. And short sleeves for obvious reasons. It's 102 degrees outside right now. So I like to cut my pattern piece the, the full length and then just fold it this way. Next time, if I want to do a three quarter sleeve or a long sleeve, I don't have to recut and reprint. Everything is ready for me. So I have it folded on the short sleeve line. Uh, for the v-neck you will need your front your back your sleeve and your neckband you'll cut your neckband as a long rectangle and this will be some markings that we'll be adding on uh, on our fabric for uh, the style of the shirt or dress you have uh, various options one is a uh, um, knot tie hem, a banded shirt. Then you have a hem shirt, a curved hem shirt, a tunic, and um, a dress length. I'm doing the dress length because that's my favorite option. So I have the longest piece of the pattern cut. If I decided to go ahead and do a smaller one, I usually either cut my fabric, save the uh, my um, pattern piece, save the other part, cut my fabric, and then tape it with some scotch tape together so I don't lose my pieces and I don't have to reprint every time. So this will be the back, and uh, you will not be needing any of the pattern pieces if you're doing the v-neck. If you do the scoop neck, you will need, instead of this, piece you won't be using this that's only for the v-neck you will you have your measurements right here in the pattern and you will be using the measurements provided in for your specific size um, same thing for the binding for the band and if you do choose the band you will be using the uh, band that's provided with the pattern do note one thing that um, for sizes uh, extra small, extra, extra small, two extra, extra large, they're on one layer and uh, you'll be cutting two on fold. For sizes one X to three X, you'll be cutting four and there's a, there will be a seam because of, the, because of the width of fabric. We've made the pattern that for the plus pieces, since not every uh, fabric is as wide as the one I'm using, for example, and it wouldn't fit on the width of fabric, uh, then you will be cutting four. So please make sure you are aware of that. For the smaller sizes, you will be cutting two on fold. For uh, sizes, the plus sizes, you'll be cutting four with no fold. Uh, if you're doing the banded option. I'm not, so I'm gonna put this aside. Now let's talk about, we have our pattern pieces ready. Let's talk a little bit about the fabrics uh, for uh, that suit this pattern best. I will link uh, in this blog post, I will link uh, Judy's uh, knit fabric uh, cheat sheet and the post she did a while ago because that's super informative. But uh, I wanted to give you my favorite fabrics for this post, uh, for this uh, pattern. First and foremost, my most favorite uh, type of fabric for this pattern, which is exactly what I'll be using today, is uh, bamboo lycra. This is the godsend. <laughs> this fabric is amazing. Like it's so cooling and so drapey and it's a natural fiber and it holds color really well. Well, at least the custom ones that I've used. Um, it's uh, breathable. Like. It, you need something with drape for this pattern. And this one, I think, is my most favorite fabric for it. Uh, bamboo lycra is not so easily available in stores um, or even with um, 
uh, fabric shops online, but it is available with a lot of uh, custom fabric shops, including Fabric Anthropology, where I got these beautiful um, sizzle stripes, galaxy sizzle stripes from. And they're actually sponsoring this so along, so um, we'll have two prizes from there. We'll have two winners and we'll give two prizes away from Fabric Anthropology. So check them out. So this number one, if you have access to Bamboo Lycra for, for these projects or anytime you make a favorite uh, tea uh, or a fave tea, go for it. That's the best one in my opinion. Second best and much more easily um, uh, available for the masses would be rayon spandex, which is actually what I'm wearing right now. This is ray a rayon spandex and it's a favorite tea as a matter of fact. <laughs> It's one that I did in testing. So this is rayon spandex. Again, thin, breathable, and perfect for this, for this pattern. So if uh, rayon spandex is available with a lot of fabric shops online, it's available at Joanne too. Actually, I've noticed that they're including a lot more rayon spandex in their lineup and uh, bringing in some pretty cute patterns. So go ahead and check your local fabric stores because the rayon spandex is, is easily available. Rayon, poly rayon spandex, so a rayon spandex blend is also good, but it's not gonna be as breathable or as soft to the touch, but it will work. So that's my second option for, uh, for this fabric, for this pattern. Uh, Third option that I recommend for the favorite tea would be um, brushed poly. Brushed poly is not as breathable for summer or spring, but it is definitely um, a fabric with a great drape, soft to the touch. So if you live in a cooler area or if you don't mind polyester in the summertime, because not everybody minds it, then uh, Brushed poly, whether it's single brushed or double brushed, will, will work great. This is also from Fabric Anthropology, and this is a single brushed poly, which means one side is smooth and the other side is, um, is really uh, brushed, so really soft. So this is a single brushed poly that will work great for this. Double brushed poly will work great for this, and double brushed poly is available with uh, a lot of fabric shops. Let me see, look, I have right here a double brush poly that I'll be, uh, actually I'm planning on making it a favorite tea soon. So uh, this one has, uh, the back is brushed and the front is brushed, that's why it's double brush and great drape. So my third option for this uh, pattern is uh, brushed poly, double or, or a single brush poly. Um, some polyester blends may work as long as they have the right drape. I've used some before. Um, what I would stay away from with this pattern would be uh, knits with um, very stable knits like scuba, like ponte. Uh, those will um, those type of knits will not work great. For, uh, for this type of uh, pattern. You need something uh, that's comfortable to wear and it has a good drape. And uh, if, if you do go ahead and use scuba, or actually don't use scuba, if you go ahead and use Ponte, for example, Ponte di Roma or any Ponte-like fabric, know that it will be very structured. So where you will have the body, um, of the dress, for example, curving and flowing really nicely, you will not have that with Ponte. It will be kind of boxy. So it's a risk you're taking, but it's not impossible. Some people do prefer that look. I've um, used cotton lycra many, many, many times for this pattern. It's not a preferred fabric for it, for many people. I like it. Personally, I like the way I feel in custom cotton lycra. So I, it's a, again, personal preference. I don't mind it, but a lot of people don't use cotton lycra for it. 
because of, again, the lack of drape compared to um, other, uh, other fabrics. You, uh, uh, for the favorite, for the little kids, the youth one, the fifty, go ahead and use cotton lycra. You won't have any problems. And as a matter of fact, as far as I'm concerned, you can use it for, for adults too. But do know that it won't be as drapey as, um, as other fabrics. I actually have done the favorite tea in cotton lycra probably 15 times with with custom cotton lycra and I wear it all the time to Disney so because it's breathable it's a natural fabric it dries relatively easily and fast not as fast as others but it's it's a natural fabric so I like it for for walking around Disney uh, that's uh, as far as fabric choices go now as far as cutting goes you will be cutting the uh, pattern pieces uh, based on what style you want. It, the most important thing to follow when you cut your fabric is the grain line. So one way to uh, find the grain line is to find the repeat of the pattern. I'm gonna fold. The grain line is parallel to the selvage. So this is the salvage of the fabric. This is the grain line. And you want to find a repeat on the fabric that you have. Like for example, you can see the repeat here. Here, here, here. So I know this is not on grain because you see I have uh, the, the repeat does not match. So I know this is off grain right now. So I'm gonna fix that up. you see that the fabric is on grain so you'll be placing your pattern pieces perfect see my repeat is exactly the same along the fold you'll place your pattern pieces and start cutting. I'll, I will be doing this off camera so it doesn't, we don't make this video super long. What is very important is your um, fabric markings and is, this is the last thing I wanted to talk to you about today. Make sure you transfer all your fabric markings on the fabric like one notch here. If you're doing the banded option, you, you need to make sure this notch is visible on the fabric um, after you cut it, whether you, put a sign with a fabric chalk or you do an actual notch with the fabric, make sure that this notch is visible. It's not the case for the dress option. However, because I'm doing the V-neck, this notch right here, the V-neck notch has to appear on the fabric. Same thing when you're cutting your, your neck band. If you're doing the V-neck, make sure that these two notches will uh, reflect on the fabric after you cut it so that being said have fun cutting your fabric make sure you show them off in the here in the sew along group because i really want to see what uh, fabrics you have chosen for for this um, this sew along and i'll see you guys here tomorrow when we'll be talking about uh, the shoulder seams and we'll be attaching in the sleeves Talk to you guys soon. Bye.